Welcome to the Japan Holic Podcast. Podcast surrounded by topics all about Japan, discussed by one certified Japan Holic. I'm your host, Taylor Fry. And my phone went off. Cool. All right. Good start to this episode. All right. So today, I've got something, once again, a little different. Um, I've noticed. Turn my phone on silent real quick. I forgot to do that. My bad. All right. Anyway. Uh,. It's come to my attention that the past few weeks I've always said near the beginning of the, each and every episode that I would be doing something a little different. And for the most part, that is just my indication that, well, there is something going to be completely different about this episode compared to like the last two or three episodes. Um, I kind of want to have like a serious discussion to, to some extent. It has come to my attention as well, that some people kind of see what I've been doing lately as a high level amount of obsession over Japan. And not just Japan, but like anime as well. Because if you follow my Twitter page over at the Japanholic one You'll notice that I tweet a lot about anime, and a lot of it uh, is 18 plus stuff, but not like full on 18 plus stuff. It's just, you know, I I sometimes talk about series over on my Twitter. I sometimes like talk about, you know, some of my favorite girls from one of my favorite series or even some favorite males. You know, if I relate to the male uh, protagonist of a series. But either way, you know, people over on Twitter, people over on Facebook have, like, looked deeper into my profile, I guess. And kind of said that I'm kind of got a pr- obsession problem over, um, over Japan. And as they like to call it, an unhealthy obsession. Um... If you, if you haven't noticed, I switched my microphone back to the, the Blue Yeti microphone that I used earlier in the, the podcast. Uh, I switched back to my headset for a few episodes to see what that was like. And then try, I've just tried out like different microphones to see which ones sound better. You know, which ones would make the podcast seem more A, professional and B, consistent with mic levels. You know, let me know which one you think is better. But anyway... Continue it all with the topic here. Um, it this Japanaholic persona I've s- mustered up earlier this year, and you know, continuing on for like the pe- the next however so many years that I plan on doing YouTube. Um, and something that you know, at first I didn't think I was going to do because. Uh, I've said this, I don't know how many times now, but I've always been a traveling guy. I've always loved traveling to places like the United Kingdom, to Canada, to France, to Germany. Even though I haven't done any of those, but I went over some reasons uh, a couple episodes ago. Uh, But I've always loved traveling. I've always loved seeing different cultures and different countries and... Japan was one of them. Japan was one of those countries where I were I looked at the culture, I looked at the na- you know the nature ish side of Japan, and I said to myself, I I love this more than I love any of the other um countries that I've re- like that I've was quote unquote obsessed over. I like I was I wasn't too obsessed with like United Kingdom or any of the other countries that I named off just a couple moments ago but I love them to some extent that I would that I actually thought about moving to them several times um but Japan stuck out to me because of its like beautiful culture and its like nature style is kind of on par if not 10 times better (laughs) that's quite the difference but you know, better than the United States, I guess, because I live in a rural area, and the nature is part of this area. It's just, it's bleh. There's a lot of tr- broken trees, dead bushes, dead trees, dead grass, a lot of dead things in the wilderness. 
not including the deers and stuff we hunt every once in a while. Um, but recently it's just been like, you know, I've been getting a couple like comments here and there about, you know, the whole Japanaholic persona being too much, I guess I'll say. Because, you know, it's there's a term for it. If you like anime too much, you're a weeaboo, I guess. Uh, and um, if you're a weeaboo, you technically disrespect the culture by liking the culture too much. That's what, that's what the unofficial uh, definition of weeaboo is. Is if you say, oh, I like... Uh, I like Japan because I like ramen and Japanese people like ramen. That's disrespectful in one way and in other ways, in other ways as well. So, And it's like, for me, that's apparently what I've been doing with the Japan and the culture and stuff like that. Now, I'm trying my absolute hardest to, like, the ultimate goal, the ultimate goal of this podcast is to get people as interested in Japan as I am and not just Japan but like you know stuff in Japan so like anime so like Japanese cartoons Japanese television music that sort of thing um and is it easy no because as much as I talk about all this Japanese stuff the only Japanese experience that I have is my upcoming trip and I haven't taken that trip yet so all I can all I can get is just you know other Japanese like uh, sources like Japan Times and Japanese YouTube channels like the anime man Giguk you know and many others um so as of right now it just I I don't know do I see it as an obsession, like an unhealthy obsession? No, because like, okay, personally, like outside of podcasts, outside of Twitter, outside of Facebook, outside of literally everything on social media, I'm just a normal average American guy. I just wander around, you know, uh, the streets of <laughs> the streets of America or the streets of Indiana where I live. And I just do my normal everyday thing. I don't go around and, you know, like call myself Japanese or I don't call myself like a Japanaholic like literally to every stranger on the on the streets okay I I just I love Japan but I don't love it so much that it's like I'm full like I'm covered fully in Japanese attire because that would kind of be disrespectful in my in my eyes and possibly other people's eyes as well but you know, and then the thing with the podcast is I've always, I've always been doing podcasts. Ever since 2017, I've kind of done podcasts, okay? Uh, if you go on my YouTube channel and sort by, like, the oldest videos, you will find a few, like, early renditions of podcasts that I've done or, you know, long ter or long video review videos and stuff like that with the Fall Damage Group. Are they good? No, because I was 15 years old when I recorded those videos. And if you're a 15 year old boy, you're going to be going through puberty. So your voice is going to be changing quite a bit. And mine sounded severely out of breath. That kind of ha that kind of hasn't changed, as you could tell, three years later. But I've always been doing podcasts for three years now. I've always had, you know, the love for talking into a microphone and talking to a bunch of people. Even if it is just like, you know, three people every week that, you know click on this podcast every Wednesday and then tune in, you know, to hear my thoughts and opinions on Japan, that sort of stuff. And, you know, uh, there's been several times over the course of this year alone, you know, we, we are like almost done with April. I think so. We're about done with April as I'm recording this. And there's already been several times this year where I've had the biggest load of confidence in my entire life, where I feel like I could finally, finally start feeling confident in myself 
moving forward with the podcast or moving forward with my YouTube uh, with my YouTube because my YouTube channel as of recording this is still at like 960 subscribers which doesn't sound like a lot but just this time last year I was staggering a uh, staggering above 800 okay so I've slowly but surely grown to that thousand mark there were times where I was stuck at the 700. I think the, the longest I was stuck at was like a, a three month span where I was stuck at 720 to 730 subscribers and I would not gain a sing. I would not, you know, have a con like a, a constant flow of gaining or, or gaining or losing subscribers. It was always, I gain a two like one week and then I lose those two the next week and then like nothing would happen one week or another and that sort of stuff and then you know now like you know just a few weeks ago i felt like i was able to you know able to make my voice heard to more people uh i was out you know i felt like i was able to start you know having a good podcast i felt confident in myself that i could make a successful podcast well in terms of like you know viewers you know constant viewers uh, and then, you know, the consistency of it going up and up and up because at the time, you know, my subscriber rate was going up, viewer, viewer rates were going up and stuff like that. Now I'm not the, per I'm not that kind of person that likes, you know, that's going to brag about numbers. Okay. I don't brag about like my subscriber count or I don't brag about how many views my podcast will get because this is like the only time I like really mentioned anything about my subscriber count or viewer count of a podcast episode and i know there's youtubers that never do this and i know there's podcasters that never do this and then there's some that like brag like almost every episode that oh this podcast we get like twenty thousand downloads every single week that sort of stuff i'm not like that because two reasons one i kind of feel like that that is kind of an egotistical thing to do when it's not you know in a serious situation like i'm in right now and two, I don't have any numbers to brag about. It's like, you know, this is like the, like I said, it's the only time I'm going to be talking about numbers and stuff in this podcast because it kind of co translates over to my mood, my mood set heading into May and June. Um, but, you know, lately, like very lately, you know, like just, you know, end of March, heading into April and even right now, it's like. Everything is, like, gone the w wrong way, I guess. I've always had these moments, and this may happen to everybody. It may not happen to, like, you know, it may not happen to you, but it, may, it happens to a lot of people at my age where they, f they have, if they're on, like, social media and they're trying to get a following, they're going to have those times where they feel so confident they can do whatever they can. And, you know, people will watch it. People will listen to it. And then they'll have those types where it's like, I could throw out like a 10 hour edited video and it would get no views compared to like, you know, something that would take like two hours of editing and, you know, it, it like not really be a good video. And somehow that gets thousands of views. And in a way that kind of does translate to me because whenever, I, whenever I've worked on like a, a long-term project, um, I'm trying to think of a couple off the top of my head uh, that have taken me like several hours to edit, to upload and stuff like that. You know, I quickly look to my most popular video on YouTube, which is a a, a, a meme of the Dairy Queen com popcorn shrimp commercial that I uploaded back on April 1st of 2019. That has like over 40,000 views now. I'm not sure. That's my most popular video. And I'm looking at that. It's like I edited that in like an hour at school and if i could have easily followed that same thing like it wasn't even an hour it was like less than it was like a half hour but like if i followed that same routine i would have probably had like hundreds of thousands of subscribers by now but i didn't do that because i just i just at first i didn't think it was gonna get anywhere i mean it was a stupid vi it was like a 30 second stupid video and i didn't think it was gonna be I don't think it was going to get anywhere. And then all of a sudden it got a hundred views. And I was like, wow, that actually got somewhere, I guess. And then it got a thousand. I was just like, oh my God, it's going to be one of those videos. And then it got 10,000. And I was like, what? Sorry for the voice crack. I was like, what? 
because that was my first video to hit 10,000 to hit then no this is my first video to hit 20,000 views whereas my how to install NASCAR Racing Season 2003 video was the first to get 10,000 and you know even as I'm recording this episode it's like should I really publish this episode because it's like I'm talking about myself. I'm not talking about Japan. I'm not talking about anime. I'm not talking about anything. So why does this have... What does this have to do with the person watching this at home? What does this have to do with anything? You know, it's not relevant. Well, well, relevant to them. But it's relevant to me because in a way, like, like I said, I don't care about numbers as long as somebody's hearing my voice and understanding what I'm going through, especially now, I'm fine with that, okay? Like, I don't care if this episode is the lowest viewed episode. Well, that's pretty hard to top the first two episodes. They haven't gotten anywhere compared to the other episodes. But anyway, uh, if somebody can understand that, like, you know, lately I've been going through kind of like a rough point in uh in this year already thanks to this whole corona bs it's changed a lot and it changed my mentality like my mentality between the start of this year to now uh probably hasn't changed all too much in fact it's probably at the same point where it's like i don't know what the future holds for me i just i'm gonna have to see what happens okay like, I'm a go with the flow guy. I love to um I love to see where things take me. I love to see where um I love to see what happens next. And I don't really want to be a part of what happens next. Or like I don't want to be the deciding factor that causes what happens next to happen next, if that makes sense to anybody. Like when it comes to like these videos and when it comes to these episodes of the podcast, I'm like, I don't care. Like, uh, if it never gets popular, but you know, I want it to be popular. I want it to, I want it to be something, but I just, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to go spread the word so much that it's like, why are you doing this in a way? Cause like, I feel bad when I, over promote in a way i don't know why why i'm like this but it's like i never really promote my stuff over on twitter over on facebook over on discord more than i have to like every other like server on discord i promote like my youtube channel my twitch but if they don't click on it the first time they're not going to click on it the second third or fourth time so i'm just like whatever might as well just go to the next discord server to promote my stuff for just a moment and if they don't click on it, then, oh well. Uh, but back to the main, like, topic of if I'm having an unhealthy obsession over Japan, over anime, over mangas, over music, Japanese music, kind of. The answer is, in my opinion, no. Of course I'm not. I could be way worse, in a way. Like, I like anime, I like mangas, I like Japan, but I, you know, the only reason why I have this Japanaholic persona is because of the fact that I want people to like animes and mangas and Japan as much as I do, okay? I want them to look at Japan and animes and mangas and, you know, say, and, you know, say like, I agree with his, you know, opinions. I agree with that, or I don't agree with this, but I can respect it. And then, you know, tell me about it in the comments and, you know, call me a weeaboo. I don't know. But, you know, in a way, it's like, in a, in a way, it's kind of like how the Abroad in Japan podcast is with Pete Donaldson. He doesn't live in Japan. Yet, he's on that podcast where it's the biggest podcast for Japan. Okay. And, you know, everybody loves him. You know, he love, he loves Japan. And he loves, it's, in a way, in a way, he's kind of like me. Or like, I'm kind of like him, I guess. Because he's way older than me, I guess. But, he loves 
doing radios, radio stuff. He loves the nature. You know, he's traveled to, like, different countries. And he loves doing podcasts, especially the football ramble. Okay. And I've always loved doing podcasts. No matter what the topic is, okay, as long as, you know, it's a podcast and I have a microphone in front of my face, I will... I will discuss whatever's in front of me, okay? I've always kind of wanted to do a wrestling podcast or a football podcast, and I've and I've tried. I've actually tried on a few occasions to try to do a racing podcast, but none of those worked. None of those, unfortunately, worked. Um, reasons why is because of a few things for each of the podcasts, but the reason why I think the Japanaholic podcast... Is going to be my next long-term podcast that I want to do. Is because of the fact that it's something that I love doing. And it's something that, you know, even if it's one man, I feel like it could still hold the same power as a two-man podcast, I guess. Not to stroke any e stroke my ego out there, okay? But I feel like, in a way, I can, you know, start conversations... I feel like I can, you know, express my opinions in a way that can make even a person who disagrees with the opinions respects the opinion, I guess. Because, I don't know. I, I really hate, I hate for this episode to be all about me. Okay? And make it seem like it's, whoa, it's me kind of thing. Like, oh, take pity on me because, you know, I'm being bullied on the internet. When it's like, in reality, it's just, in a way, I'm trying to explain myself as to why this podcast exists, as to why I'm known as a certified Japanaholic, and, you know, why I don't necessarily, um, cause for, cause for whatever reason, I don't like to be called a weeaboo, because I feel like a weeaboo disrespects the Japanese culture, even if it's not their intent to and I'm, I, I, <laughs> I'm, I don't want to disrespect the Japanese culture if I accidentally get something wrong with the culture or if you know I say something about that culture that offends anybody in that in the culture because it in a way it would be like if a Brit uh, like a, a British person started talking about a podcast about America and stuff like that okay with the same amount of experience as, you know, I do with Japan. You know, very little, but still loves the country to the point where it, you know, they could still make a podcast about it. That's kind of how what I am, okay? I don't know any examples of that. I feel like I'm the only one. Uh, if there is any examples, let me know. But it's like, I, I love traveling. I love Japan. So, I figured if I was going to make another podcast, it was going to be about Japan, about mangas, about animes, about, you know, games, about, you know, just being like a nerd. Okay, that's what I wanted to, that's like the, another part of the podcast that I wanted to, like, give off was I just want to show my nerd side. Okay? Because I'm a gamer. I think nobody here can disagree with that. If they've seen, if even if they haven't seen my YouTube channel. Okay? The first or second channel. They can, you know, say that, oh yeah, he's played this game and he's a gamer. He is a gamer. But I think I'm done talking about myself. I kind of want to talk about um, this podcast a little bit more. Because I don't think I necessarily wanted to put this as a Wednesday episode because I feel like this would just waste a week of an episode. So I may put this as another one of those Saturday specials or whatever that... Uh, sometimes gets more views than a Wednesday episode. <laughs> Usually the Saturday episodes only would happen if, um, if I've recorded too many in advance, which that sometimes happens. Depends on like, it, it really, really would depend on if I have like anything planned that would take up my schedule to like do any recording. But it's, it would also be like another way of like getting more episodes out there. So that way if anybody wants to binge this podcast later in the year, they would have more than like 20 episodes to binge in a, in a single sitting or whatever. If anybody has done that, 
let me know because I feel like I'm the only one that's done that before with different podcasts. Because I've done that with the anime podcast that uh, Joey had, uh, Joey and Aki. Uh, I binged their entire lineup of podcasts. Um, I did the same thing with the Abroad of Japan podcast and even not Sam Wrestling podcast. I like that podcast a lot. Um, yeah, there's a couple other podcasts out there that, oh, uh, Set Meals. Yeah, that was another one that I wanted to shout, give off a little shout out, I guess. A little shout out. Those, those are some great podcasts to listen to, but, uh, but continuing on, you know, I just all, I also feel like this one just would not work with a Wednesday episode. Just work, work as it is, is a Saturday episode, not so much a Wednesday episode. So, um, what you can't expect to see, like I've said hundreds of thousands of times already on this podcast is I do plan on bringing on some guests uh, more guests here every once in a while. And then I also plan on, um, going over more anime, going over more mangas and more series. And I do want to go over a little bit of gaming every once in a while. There's a lot of things that I want to do on this podcast that will have to take some time for me to like plan out and stuff like that. And I, like like I said before, with the whole trip coming up with that I'm taking with Brody, who's been on this podcast twice now, I want to get him on here uh, so we can discuss what we want to do in Japan and discuss, uh, just, you know, talk more about Japan, stuff like that. And then once we actually take the trip, you know, we just dis discuss what we like and what we found interesting about our trip, so... That, I don't know exactly when that'll come out. Because, uh, like I said, the play-in date was in June. And then that got pushed back to possibly July or August. Who flipping knows? Because we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Um, If you do like the microphone setup, uh, let me know. Down, you know, let me know. Like, any feedback-wise is fine. Okay. Like, as long as there's, you know, constructive criticism or, you know, constructive feedback, let me know. If there's a way that I can make this podcast better. If there's a way that I can, you know, find a way to make this podcast work in any way, shape, or form. Keeping it as a one-man podcast for right now. Let me know. Okay. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, which still sits around like 960 subscribers 960 970 i don't flip and know you know go check it out it's taylor the japanaholic and then the second channel will be linked on that channel as well which i will start using more later this year for gaming which sits at like 35 subscribers right now 35 36 somewhere along the lines of there i don't know i haven't checked the i haven't checked the numbers in about a few days or so because like i said i really i really don't care about you know the numbers that much I do, but I also don't. Like, it's like, oh, that's cool. I have, like, 960 subscribers. But, you know, it's at the same time, it's like, well, I mean, could be a lot higher, but I'm not going to complain. Could be a lot lower, too. So, yeah. I think I'm done rambling for this for this episode. And I, you know, if you do, if you if you did watch all the way through, or if you did listen all the way through, I flip and applaud you for listening to a guy, like, ramble on about himself, not so much anything Japan-related. Or anything anime related, I guess. Or gaming related. I applaud you. And, you know, I also have to say thank you for listening to me complaining. <laughs> for about for about 20-25 minutes. So, thank you all so much for tuning in to, the, to this episode of the Japan Holic Podcast. Go ahead, like, favorite, rate, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I will see you on Wednesday, 10, 10.30 in the morning, Eastern Daylight Savings Time. For another episode of the Japan Holic Podcast. My name is Taylor, the Certified Japan Holic. Signing off. Good night, everybody.